pretty dark, pretty yellow. I'm gonna start with my cadmium lemon and I'll mix it with a little bit of raw umber because raw umber is basically a dark low chroma yellow which seems to be exactly what I need. That's what's going on there in the shadow. So I'm gonna to try to keep this color very, very simple. And uh, I think this will serve very well as a starting point. I'm also gonna make an alternative one, which is gonna be a little bit more chromatic. So it's gonna be cadmium lemon plus burnt umber. We're gonna have both of these options. Burnt umber is a more browny, kind of orangey color. So you're gonna see that this one leans towards green and the other one leans towards brown. So we're gonna have both of these to play with. And it's possible that throughout the process I might decide to make them a little bit darker. But for now, I think let's try to mix the middle value. So for the middle value, I'm going to see if I can get away with mixing something that's not incredibly chromatic, but also light enough and that doesn't include any white pigment. So in this case, I used yellow ochre because it's a far less chromatic yellow than cadmium. So it almost acts as a chroma reduction agent. And uh, it's funny because you wouldn't necessarily think that this is a low chroma color. It does look like a high chroma color, but in the context of the other things that are gonna join, it's gonna be a little low. I'm gonna add a bit of raw umber just to feel like I'm a disciplined person and that I'm, I'm not setting myself up for some kind of insane chroma explosion. There we go. I think that's a pretty good color. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. So I mixed raw umber over here. So, and then I did raw umber, burnt umber. I'm gonna to try to do the same thing with this color. Just create a version of it that has burnt umber instead so that it, it leans a little bit more towards orange and less towards green. And those are gonna be very, very nice middle values to work with. Excellent. And New York City graces us with some sirens. That's okay. Now I'm gonna get into some light colors. So of course we're gonna need a lot of white. And I'm gonna use ochre again and some cadmium lemon. The ochre and the white here are playing the roles of chroma reductive agents. They are low chroma colors, trying to bring down the cadmium into submission so that it doesn't run wild. And this already looks like a very agreeable color. I think I want it to be a little bit more chromatic. I'm gonna use cadmium yellow medium because I do think it needs to lean a hint bit more towards orange. And that should serve. And then, actually I'm gonna put it here because I've been following a rhythm of greenish oranges, greenish oranges, and then this came out orangish. So I'm gonna also create a version that feels a little bit more greenish. So we're gonna do that. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. Now, the lightest lights of the banana, they are definitely less chromatic. So, might just get away with mixing whatever is left on my knife with some white, just like a dirty kind of white that's going to be saturated with the previous pigments that I used just might solve that problem for me without me even working too hard to make it happen. I think that's a very agreeable color. And now there are areas that are green that we want to tackle. So for that shadow, I think the green shadow, I'm going to start with some Viridian green and I'm going to mix it with cadmium yellow medium. So that's going to produce a color that doesn't look dark, it's, uh, but it's going to be the darker one of the two or three, depending on how many we want to mix. And cadmium yellow medium is almost like an 
It feels almost orangey in this context, which I think is exactly what I need. The trick in these bananas, as far as it looks as of now, is that they're not, even the dark colors are not very dark. Just not very dark. And then for the lightest version of this color, I'm just gonna use the same ingredients. I'm gonna include some white, and then I'm gonna see what happens. It's possible that I might need to make a lighter one still. Yeah, I think I will. This this is a very good color, but I think there's there's even a darker version of it, a lighter version of it, sorry, that I still want to add. So I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter, but we're gonna be calling this more like the middle as opposed to the dark. And then the lightest one has less of that orange tendency. I'm gonna take a bit of this, I'm gonna put more of the cadmium lemon, the colder kind of yellow, and add a lot of white for that bright part all the way on the left. And that feels like it needs to be a little bit more green. I'm gonna take some, some Viridian green. And I'm gonna name all the pigments soon. I forgot to do it, but I will do it. So to all of you holding your breath, I got you, don't worry about it. I'm gonna name them all. And I think I'm gonna scooch all these pigments over just a bit because I want to mix another version of the dark. Uh, make more space here. There we go. I want to make another version of this dark color. Yeah, I'm gonna start it in the same way, but also add some umber just to bring it even lower down the value range. Still want to keep it pretty chromatic. There we go. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so this is going to be here. And this is going to be here. Okay, now I have that area of the stem, the brown stuff on top. Yeah, it's a very tricky color. The dark side of that color is, again, not very dark and also has almost no chroma at all. I'm going to mix some umber and some cerulean blue. I'm only using cerulean blue because I had it like left over from a previous painting. I wouldn't necessarily dish out cerulean blue for a banana painting because it's such an expensive pigment. It's not... It's not like I like wasting it, but it, it was already on my palette, so it would be even more wasteful not to use it. So I just included it, and so it's now part of the gang. I think that's exactly the color that I want. And then there's a, an even darker version of this that appears pretty briefly, like around the contours of this area. So I just added some burnt umber and I think that's gonna be enough and then I'm gonna make the light part of the brown doesn't need to be very chromatic gonna start with some burnt umber some white and some cadmium red oh wow that came out exactly what I wanted I want more paint though so I'm gonna Include the same ingredients again, just to make more of it. It's so nice to mix up a very chromatic color like cadmium red right up against something like burnt umber. They neutralize each other beautifully, in my opinion. There we go. And I think this should be enough to start off with. So those were banana colors. I'll be listing all the pigments I had on my palette after I quickly paint these bananas. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, save it, leave a comment, and share it with a friend. I painted these bananas during a live Zoom event with my Patreon supporters. It was very fun, they were able to watch my every move, ask me questions, and we had really interesting conversations. I have four more Ala Prima events coming up every Thursday of the month at 6pm Eastern. Take a night off Netflix, grab some popcorn, and watch me paint. 
All you have to do to be invited to all my live a la prima demos is become a $2 Patreon supporter. Yes, a $2 pledge gets you invited to all my live a la prima demos and you'll also have access to over 30 hours of video content. But most importantly, you'll know your support goes towards helping me produce more educational content everyone can enjoy. To become a supporter, please visit patreon.com slash kengoshen or visit the link in my bio and click Patreon. Thanks in advance, and now let's list those colors. Here we go. Flake white, ivory black, burnt umber, raw umber, viridian green, ultramarine blue, which I didn't use, alizarin crimson, which I didn't use, burnt sienna, which I didn't use, venetian red, which I didn't use, uh, raw sienna, which I didn't use but thought I was going to use, yellow ochre, cadmium lemon, cadmium yellow medium, cadmium orange, which I thought I was going to use but didn't use, cadmium red, cobalt blue, and cerulean blue. 